The matter on levying pollution surcharge on commercial vehicles flying through Delhi today. The Chief Justice of India deferred the hearing in the matter yesterday as he wanted to go through an order passed by the National Green Tribunal on Wednesday on the same matter to curb the entry of commercial vehicles into the national capital. The centre has expressed its support to the need to levy a pollution surcharge on heavy commercial vehicles in order to regulate their entry into the national capital. Solicitor General Ranjit Kumar stated the necessity of formulating a mechanism to stop vehicles passing through Delhi to avoid toll taxes before the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Justice H.L. Dattu postponed hearing of the matter to Friday by when he would have completed studying the NGT report which has proposed the levy of pollution surcharge on various categories of vehicles. The Apex Court also ordered lawyers of Haryana and UP governments to be present during the hearing on Friday. The National Green Tribunal has imposed surcharge ranging from Rs 500 to Rs 1000 on commercial vehicles entering the national capital via the Sonepat entry point. The surcharge will be charged besides toll tax. Checkpoints will charge Rs 700 from two axle vehicles, Rs 1000 from three axle vehicles and Rs 500 from four axle vehicles over the toll tax. The MCD will give the collected amount to the Delhi Pollution Control Board to be utilized to curb rising air pollution levels in the national capital. The bench also directed Delhi Traffic Police, Haryana Government and National Highway Authority of India to present bifurcated data of commercial vehicles entering into Delhi from Gurgaon and Ghaziabad. The next hearing in this case is the 29th of October. In another matter involving air pollution, the Supreme Court has issued notices to licensing authorities of the centre, Delhi and Delhi Police in response to a petition filed by three toddlers aged between 6 and 14 months. The plea stresses on their right to be brought up in a pollution-free environment and seeks that a ban on issuing of licences for sale of crackers in Delhi be imposed. We had reports and we had told you how the environment has been so bad in Delhi and if the relief has not been taken quickly, the situation can be very bad. According to data released by various NGOs, more than 66,000 commercial vehicles enter Delhi on a daily basis. In a scenario where air pollution in the city has reached alarming levels, the intervention of the Supreme Court and the NGT give out the hope of a viable long-standing policy that will curb the menace. With inputs from Vikas Sarthi, DD News. Well, and uh, for more on this, we are joined by our correspondent Vikas Sarthi, who is joining us on the phone line. Uh, Vikas, uh, you know, the Chief Justice of India has already expressed concern, and he's expressed concern uh, on behalf almost of the next generation by talking about his grandchild, uh, his grandson wearing a mask and looking like a ninja. And, uh, you know, and uh, 500 to 1,000 rupees by the NGT uh, for commercial vehicles. This has already been put into place. So this pollution tax seems to be, uh, you know, a thing that is going to be considered very favorably. Uh, right, Mark. The issue has, in, in fact, Center and Delhi was, of, was also of the same view that there should be some mechanism to prevent these vehicles who just avoid, who just uh, to avoid the toll tax uh, use Delhi's road. Uh, so these uh, vehicles will be, these people will be discouraged to enter into Delhi if there is some kind of pollution surcharge on those vehicles. Uh, as far as the NGT order is uh, concerned, NGT has already directed municipalities to enforce that uh, these. Uh, vehicles when entering in Delhi should pay 500 to 1000 rupee uh, per entry uh, but uh, it will take some time because they will have to because authorities authorities will have to put some mechanism to execute these uh, issues uh, because uh, and because of that issue right. Supreme Court said that we will go through the order and we will uh, ascertain that uh, what steps should be taken for uh, Im for immediate implement because it may take some time and apart from that Supreme Court uh, there was uh, another issue raised before the Supreme Court that NGT order can be challenged in Delhi High Court so it will be better for Supreme Court to pass separate directions sure. separate orders so uh, it will it will be so these guidelines will be implemented by uh, the, by authorities by municipalities of Delhi and uh, as far as the government is concerned center has already said that uh, there are thousands of vehicles enter in Delhi who are going to other states but they use Delhi roads just to avoid toll taxes so there should be some kind of uh, uh, mechanism uh, mechanism that okay. uh, only those vehicles will be allowed who are to be offloaded in Delhi itself. Right, but because, uh, you know, while uh, all these issues are being debated and uh, discussed, uh, time is of the essence because winter is approaching and uh, the levels of pollution will only increase in winter because of suspended particles. 
Uh, exactly, Mark. This is the concern by the not only by the uh, by the uh, by the petitioners, but also from the government side. They want immediate hearing because uh, earlier this matter was uh, was being adjourned to uh, next week. But uh, uh, but senior advocate Harish Thalbe pressed that uh, the Supreme Court must hear it on uh, on on urgent on basis of urgency because uh, once Supreme Court passed the order, it may take two to three weeks for the government to implement. Uh, and uh, as you know that in winter these issues become more serious uh, these uh, nitrous ox oxide level raises in the uh, uh, raises in the winter so they want immediate hearing and because of that supreme court uh, agreed to hear it today itself and uh, on 10 30 supreme court will hear this is this will be the first case today chief justice bench bench of chief justice will hear this matter and uh, will certainly pass appropriate order will direct the delhi government that how they are going to implement right. uh, Supreme Court order, and if they want any change in NGT order, Supreme Court will also give them separate directions that what should be done with the with that NGT order. Right. Thanks very much, Vikas Sarthi, our correspondent there, reporting from the Supreme Court. Now the Madhya Pradesh.